So the idea for this ex exhibition was entirely Tantas. In 2017, prior to Tanta and I going away on our respective walks, um, her to Portugal, my husband and I to France, she said, let's go away and walk with the idea of doing a show when we come back on the theme of pilgrimage, which sounded like a fabulous idea. I love long distance walking. I love making art. It was perfect, but I had absolutely no idea what to do. And so just prior to leaving, somebody loaned me one of Sarah Mitta's travel books, one of these fab fabulous little travel diaries, which has lists of things, squares of colors, stripes of color, it was perfect. That was it, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I decided I was gonna keep a travel diary of colors, one for each day of our walk. So of course I'm carrying my pack, so it was the tiniest watercolor pad I could find, the tiniest palette. And that's exactly what I did each night after we finished walking. And I diligently did it each night because the memories had to be fresh. I made a watercolor painting or a list of watercolor squares of color of the things that stuck, that struck with me, the things that, that, that struck me when we were walking. You know, we walk in silence. We're walking through empty countryside. There's nothing around. So it's really easy to, to notice your physical surroundings. So each night I would sit down and diligently make these paintings and that's what's on the wall behind me is one painting in acrylic for each day of our walk um, and it was 42 days so there's 42 paintings there and the labels that I've got beside each painting are photocopies of my diary entries so the, the, the paintings are abstract so there's no reference to what those colors are but the diary entries correspond to the painting so it gives you a list and a key so you know what each color corresponds to. So it's 42 paintings. It's the colors of my memories of that walk in France. Hi, Efren. This is very nice. So this is the show Pilgrimage. And I have spent two years drawing from my imagination from walks that started in France in 2008. Uh, one walk in, from Portugal to Spain in 2015. And then the last walk um, that's sort of picked up where we finished in France in 2008 to 2017. So in total, probably not a massive amount of mileage, but it was probably about four months of walking if they were all combined. And I did these drawings um, over a period of about two years, and they are strictly from my imagination. I would sit down at my studio and I would start to draw and I would think of places where we had lunch, where we walked to, where we got stuck, putting band-aids on my feet, and just draw. And I would, um, at the very end, I added color, but then I would go back and I would add black. For example, this is in Porto, Portugal. And Porto is a really hilly town, quite beautiful, and it's on the ocean and a river. So as I was thinking about it, I drew the ocean in behind and some of their gorgeous cathedrals, and of course it's a city, so there's apartment buildings uh, and steps, steps and stairs everywhere. They have beautiful black and white concrete and um, marble tiles all over the ground in patterns, so hugely patterned, and of course Portuguese tiles. This one is in Cahors, France, which is a smaller village. So not quite smaller churches, but again, everything is up and down, and you never really know where you're going. Uh, you do have to walk and be careful because there's cobblestones and rocks and steps, always lots of steps, certainly steps up to churches. And this is um, Santiago de Compostela, which is where everybody goes from all over Europe. They filter almost like rivers or a blood system from southern Europe um, eastern, western, northern, down to Santiago. And um, of course everybody wants to go to the cathedral. Uh, for some people it is a wonderful experience, for others they're not too sure, and it is extraordinarily gaudy. Um, and people go in there and it's filled with gold and a giant urn filled with incense, and then it's, which is pulled back and forth when they have a pilgrim's blessing across the whole church, which is um, extraordinary and it isn't actually drawn in there but there's the feeling in all of these pieces of movement yeah. so whether I'm going to walk again I don't know see what happens thank you